हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व ए प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन ओमिटेड मेजरमेंट्स सो हियर लेंथ ऑफ द लाइन ए बी इज नॉट गिवन एंड बेरिंग ऑफ द लाइन ई ए इज नॉट गिवन सो फर्स्ट वील ड्रॉ ए रफ डायग्राम फर्स्ट वील टेक द लाइन ए बी नाइंटी फाइव डिग्रीज मीन्स इट विल कम इन द सेकेंड क्वार लाइक दिस and bc 27 degrees 28 minutes it will come in the first quadrant 317 degrees 30 minutes it will come in the fourth quadrant so it is b c d next d e bearing of d e is 260 degrees 0 minutes so it will come in the third quadrant we don't know the bearing of ea so let us uh, draw some dotted lines like this these bearings are whole circle bearings we will convert them into reduced bearings so first one is 95 degrees 95 degrees means it will come in the second quadrant to convert into reduced bearing we should subtract 95 degrees from 180 degrees we will get it as 85 degree so it is in the second quadrant we should remember this north south east west so it is in second quadrant means we will get south east second one 27 degrees 28 minutes means it will come in the first quadrant so first quadrant north east north 27 degrees 28 minutes east next one 317 degrees 30 minutes it's coming in the fourth quadrant so we should subtract this from 360 degrees 360 minus 37 degrees 30 minutes we will get 42 degrees 30 minutes so it will be in fourth quadrant means north west next 260 degrees 0 minutes it will come in the third quadrant so we should subtract 180 from this we will get 80 degrees so as it is in third quadrant we should write south west and bearing of ea is not given so we don't know this value to find the length of ab and bearing of ea we'll join e and b now let us compute the length of eb and bearing of eb as we have done in the case 1 b c d e is a close to traverse we will find it by calculating the latitude and departure let us find the latitude l cos theta and l sin theta before finding that we will know whether it is positive or negative so here north east north east in this quadrant latitude is positive so you will get the value plus this length is not given so we can't find the latitude and departure now north east in this departure is also positive next here north west in north west latitude is positive and departure is negative and south west in south west here both the latitude and departure is negative so this will be useful to find the positive and negative negative of latitude and departure or we can easily remember that on the east side departure will be positive on the west side it will be negative and on the north side latitude will be positive on the south side latitude will be negative 140 into cos 27 degrees 28 minutes 124.21 140 into sin 27 degrees 28 minutes 64.57 One sixty-three into cos forty-two degrees thirty minutes. One twenty point one seven. One sixty-three into sine forty-two degrees thirty minutes. One ten point one two. One seventy-three into cos eighty degrees thirty point zero four. One seventy-three into sine eighty degrees. One seventy point three seven. We don't know these values. So these are the latitude and departure of this B C D E line. so to compute this we should add all this you know that sum of the all latitude should be zero and at sum of all the departure should be zero so latitude of eb we don't know so we will write it as simply l l of eb plus 124.21 plus 120.17 this one minus 30.04 is equal to zero let us add this we will get L plus two one four point three four is equal to zero. Then latitude 
is equal to plus will become minus 214.34 latitude of eb line we have got it as a latitude of eb is minus 214.34 similarly let us find the departure departure plus this is departure of eb 64.57 minus 110.12 minus 170.3 sum of all these departures should be 0 so d minus we will get it as 215.92 equal to 0 so departure equal to minus if it goes this side plus 215.92 so therefore we got departure of eb is plus 215.92 now let us find the bearing. So we know the formula to find the bearing. Tan theta should be equal to d by L and theta should be equal to tan inverse of d by L. Theta is equal to tan inverse of d is 215.92 by L is 214.34. We will get theta equal to 45 degrees 12 minutes so here latitude is negative and departure is positive means southeast we will get this value bearing of rb this is rb so bearing of eb is south 45 degrees 12 minutes east next length of the line eb length of eb equal to square root of l square plus d square is equal to this both 214.34 square plus 215.92 square we will get the length as 304.24 meters so we will note down all the values here length of this line is 304.24 meters we have got the length of this line eb and reduced to bearing rb also we have got the value now with the help of this we can find the length of ab and bearing of ea to find that we need this triangle eab so we know the length of this line eb which is 304.24 meters and length of line ea is 201 meters and ab we don't know and let us take this angle as theta 1 and this angle as theta 2. We need to find this angle B from this triangle EAB. To find the angle B, we need the back bearing of EB because this hole is the back bearing of EB. From that, we should remove the back bearing of AB. If we remove the back bearing of AB from back bearing of EB, we will get this angle. So, the whole circle bearing of EB we need to find first. whole circle bearing of eb is 180 minus 45 degrees 12 minutes we will get it as 134 degrees 48 minutes next back bearing of eb is equal to we should add 180 for this so we will get 180 degrees plus 134 degrees 48 minutes 314 degrees 48 minutes next bad bearing of ab we need the bad bearing of ab is equal to we know the front four bearing 95 so add 180 degrees to 95 we will get 275 degrees now angle b see here it is like this we know this whole value from this hole if we remove this one so bad bearing of a eb from this bad bearing if we remove this bad bearing we will get this angle so we should subtract this both bad bearing of eb minus bad bearing of ab that is 314 degrees 48 minutes minus 275 degrees we will get it as 39 degrees 48 minutes so we got this angle angle b as 39 degrees 48 minutes let us apply sign rule for this. 
let us take this one EB EB by opposite angle is this one sin so consider this triangle so in this triangle we took this angle as theta 2 sin theta 2 is equal to next EA opposite of this EA is angle B sin B which we know is 39 degrees 48 minutes is equal to AB by this angle theta 1 sin theta 1 so substitute the values EB EB length we have known and EA length we know it EB is 304.24 by sin theta 2 is equal to EA is 201 by sin 39 degrees 48 minutes and we don't know this value AB and sin theta 1 so leave it like this and now let us solve this one cross multiplication so sin theta 2 into 201 is equal to 304.24 into sin 39 degrees 48 minutes next sin theta 2 is equal to this is multiplication if it come this side it will become division 304.24 into sin 39 degrees 48 minutes divided by 201 so in the next step this is sin if it goes that side it will become sin inverse so let us write that here only theta is e 2 is equal to sin inverse of this whole we will get theta 2 as 75 degrees 40 minutes so we have known the value of theta 2 let us find the value of theta 1 we know that in a triangle sum of all the angles should be 180 degrees to so let us all add all this theta 1 we don't know it plus theta 2 theta 2 we know this one 75 degrees 40 minutes plus angle b which is 39 degrees 48 minutes is equal to 180 degrees then we will get theta 1 is equal to 180 degrees minus this one this both if it come this side it will become minus 75 degrees 40 minutes minus 39 degrees 48 minutes so theta 1 is equal to 64 degrees 32 minutes so let us write here theta 1 is equal to 64 degrees 32 minutes theta 2 is equal to 75 degrees 40 minutes we have written earlier now substitute the values here a b by sin theta 1 is 64 degrees 32 minutes so we will solve this both cross multiplication AB sin 39 degrees 48 minutes equal to 201 into sin 64 degrees 32 minutes AB is equal to it is multiplication if it goes this side it will become division 201 into sin 64 degrees 32 minutes divided by sin 39 degrees 48 minutes so AB is equal to 283.49 meter therefore we got the length of the line AB as 283.49 meter now we should find the bearing of EA from the figure you can see that to find the bearing of EA we need this whole circle bearing of EB and angle theta 1 if we add this both we will get the whole circle bearing of EA so, bearing of EA equal to whole circle bearing of EB plus theta 1 whole circle bearing we know it 134 degrees 48 minutes which we have done it earlier and theta 1 is 64 degrees 32 minutes is equal to 199 degrees 20 minutes so finally we got the length of ABR 283.49 meters and bearing of EAS 199 degrees 20 minutes it is whole circle bearing let us convert it into reduced bearing RB is equal to we should subtract 180 degrees from this we will get it as 19 degrees 
ट्वेंटी मिनट्स सो वन नाइंटी नाइन डिग्रीज ट्वेंटी मिनट्स वन नाइंटी नाइन डिग्रीज ट्वेंटी मिनट्स इज इन थर्ड क्वार एंड साउथ वेस्ट सो वी शुड राइट साउथ नाइंटीन डिग्रीज ट्वेंटी मिनट्स वेस्ट थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग